Hi guys, we're here at Morningside Park, here at the Morningside Park um, Farmer's Market. Farmer's Market. I'm a farmer. Farmer's Market. Sorry, I saw a bunch of kids out here playing. I got scared because I'm scared of kids. It's tomatoes. Tomatoes taste Beautiful. like they came fresh up out of the dirt. They got tomatoes, cucumbers, beets, kale, Pickles. anything fresh. And they have people out here with fresh baked goods like cookies and pies. Oh my. Oh my. I've oh my. So we're gonna go in here, get some wonderful things, talk to some good farmers and some good people, and see what's going on here at the Morningside Park and Garden. Danielle, I have a feeling that we're gonna find a lot of surprises in this market. I have a feeling. So I feel like we shouldn't wait. Let's get greedy! Oh, 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 yeah! cookies, muffins, scones, well that's more than one thing. But let me tell you, Meredith's bread, woo! They have everything, everything that you're looking for. They even have fresh jams, yeah. and one of their specialties is they're gluten-free. Everybody talk about gluten-free, gluten-free, they want gluten-free. I'm trying to lose weight, I'm trying to get my body right, I'm trying to look good and stuff. Okay, we're here at Meredith's in Morningside Park. I'm so excited to try this blueberry gluten-free scone. Feels very soft. It looks moist. Smells amazing and buttery. I'm gonna take some out. Sister, please share with me. I can't eat all of this by myself. Oh, look, look at, at it. Look at this. Come on now. Oh man, look at all those look blueberries. Look at all those blueberries. This is a blueberry Ooh. haven. Look at that. That looks so look wonderful. Look at all that blueberry. And delicious. You can taste the crunch of that sugar on the outside. It's so good. Mm. You wanna try some with some of that pumpkin, yeah, right? I wanna put some of this pumpkin butter on mine because I like mine with a little jelly. You can put some on and spread it on the inside of it. Break right me here. off a little piece. There you go right there, put some on right there. Well, break me off a piece. There you go, baby. No, you had this whole thing, break baby. Break me sharing. off a piece. We I don't want to put that whole thing in my mouth, Danielle. I'm asking That's you what helped me. That's what he said. Okay. Go, just go. Wow. There's so many flavors going on. They have the spiciness of the pumpkin butter, and then the blueberries. And this pumpkin butter, if a lot of people don't know what pumpkin butter is, it's kind of like a down south thing for apple butter, that dark brown sauce that you put on your bread down south. This pumpkin butter is, I've never tasted anything like this before. It's so good. Mm. Really delicious. You can go on muffins, pancakes. You can put it on top of ice cream. Homemade bread, anything. Little crackers. You can put it tea. on pork chops. Oh yeah, you can put it on, it's like a, like a chutney. Yeah, like a chutney on like the a side. Chutney. Yeah. I love that apple butter. So good. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else they got. Yeah. We'll be right back in one second. Mm. Oh man, I am so excited about this chocolate delight that I'm about to sink my teeth into. This is called a chocolate, no, no, no. It's called a raspberry explosion. So basically, it's chocolate on the outside and it's cookie on the inside and I guess it has like a little hint of raspberry. Let's, let's check it out. Why don't you taste it first, Danielle, since you've never tried it. I know what this is. And keep them cold because they'll melt. Oh, it's gonna melt in my mouth all right. I know. It smells, as soon as you open up, all I smell is chocolate explosion. This is why I call yeah. it, it's called a chocolate raspberry explosion. Yeah. It's like a, it's like, oh my God. Show them the inside. It tastes like a chocolate raspberry truffle. Right? Mm -hmm. It's like a chocolate raspberry truffle. It's so romantical. Very romantical. It's like, you get this for your sweet pea at home. We did bad. We didn't come home on time and we didn't call her on time. We get her a box of this. Mm. It's chocolate and champagne on a Saturday afternoon. I feel like I'm in Paris. Don't we live the life? In Paris. In chocolate Paris. and champagne. In Paris. Who needs a man when you have chocolate mm. and champagne? Chocolate and champizzle. The raspberry explosion. It's mm. chocolate. You like chocolate? Go, go, for man. go for it. Who doesn't like chocolate? You think it's only women that like chocolate? Go no, for I'm it. Saying, go for it. Oh my god. Right? Sexy, right? Oh my god. Talk to him. Sexy. Yo le pongo sazón. Sazón le pongo sazón. Yo le pongo sazón. Boy, you better stop it, boy. You better. You better. What are you making your mouth? Whipper. You better get a number. You better put that thing back in your mouth. 
Will you stop acting like a wino? I'm just saying, you know, he did a wino thing, you know. And he has some sangria too, I was gonna get a sip. Lovely owner of ChampagneTea.com. Here we go. Well, I brew it and bottle it myself. It's a non-alcoholic probiotic tea, which is all organic, caffeine-free. So there's oh. no alcohol for all the alcoholics at home. Yeah. It's healthy tea. Healthy champagne. tea. Champagne. Yeah. We got excited. We was like some wine that was coming over here like champagne. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't care what anybody says. It says there wasn't any alcohol in this. But I'm There's just in there. high off of an organic good time <laughs> at the farmer's market, and we will. What? What problem? What are you doing, Danielle? What? What? The, co the cops coming. The cops coming. We gotta go hide it. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. The cops coming. Get ready. Hide it. Hide it. The kids coming. The cops coming. But that's okay. Well, How did you... it's, it's all the fun without the lampshade. That's okay. <laughs> How did you come up with the idea or like the recipe to even start something like this? Well, actually, I got rid of kidney stones drinking. It's kombucha. Oh, wow. But we call it, we're in New York, so we're a little more sophisticated, so we call it champagne tea. Okay. Um, but kombucha is commercially available around the country. Sure. And I was drinking it for about a year, and I was drinking a lot of it, like a bottle a day. <laughs> and I got rid of kidney stones. Oh, wow. wow. So then I was convinced that, wow, this is impactful in my life. And I started making it at home. Okay. ChampagneTea.com, a wonderful, healthy gift for birthdays, for Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. I'm ready to try some of this tea. That's just pure cultured tea. Ooh. Really? Mm. Like oh, I love this. Like a, like oh, a, this is like good. Like a good bite or a bad bite? No, this no, is a good, good bite. bite. You know what? Oh, okay. And it's real. That's the one thing that I think everybody. Real mean. It's just real. It's not, there's nothing artificial in there. Mm, it smells good. Nothing that you don't want. I love it. I love it. I love this. Oh, this is so good. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, Hawaiian ginger is more fruity and floral. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We could do Jamaican spicy style, but everybody seems to like this. Yeah, this is really good. That's great. My is to everything I love. ChampagneTea.com. Get greedy. Let's get greedy on it. Oh, God. Like it's at almost all. like apple cider. It's Please apple don't call the cops cider. On us. It's organic. Okay, we're in a good neighborhood. We're scared. We don't want to get nobody to call the cops on us. 